Uh, my first musical instrument was the violin. I started on violin. My father um, was a jazz violinist. I lost him last year, well, 2014. But uh, he was a jazz violinist. And, you know, growing up, you know, as a little kid, you always want to do the same thing that your father or mother do. So my dad was uh, on the road first with Grover Washington, Jr. Uh, in the mid to late 70s, and then very late 70s through early 80s, he went on tour with McCoy Tyner. He joined McCoy Tyner's group. So that was my first influence, and you know, I was three years old when I got my violin, and I started taking lessons first privately with him, and then through, um, I grew up in Philadelphia, so uh, there was a great music program called the um, Settlement Music School, so I started taking lessons through there. But to answer the question, yes, violin was my first instrument. Well, uh, the way I made other choices, I was always, always fascinated uh, by rhythm uh, very early on. My mom used to tell me, or she used to tell me and friends of hers stories about how I would take like little spoons and I would listen to a recording of either my father playing or, um, you know, just whatever would come on the radio and I'd take these little spoons and I'd start trying to beat out my own little rhythm, you know, and you know, and you know, and compliment to what was going on, and then um, I would also take like her little. I would go into her, you know, her kitchen cupboard and take like all her little pans out and try to set up my little drum set and start playing. So she got, you know, after a while, she was like, "All right, please, you know, my my father's name was John, so she would say, please, John, get this boy a, a drum set." <laughs> so, um, but. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of, you know, very early on my fascination with rhythm kind of, I guess, gradually led me to playing the drums. Uh, but before I was able to even start playing drums, my father knew the importance of learning harmony and melody. And so he required myself and my two younger sisters to start taking piano lessons. So um, I was playing piano. And then I would say around age 10, uh, they started a music program uh, at my school uh, in Philadelphia. I grew up in Philadelphia. Um, before the music program, they had, you know, they just had like an orchestra, but then they wanted to broaden it. They wanted to start having concert band. They wanted to have jazz band. So there was a gentleman named, I, I called him Mr. Bellella. I think it was Carl Bellella was his name. Um, and he, they hired him to come in and start teaching the students. So he came in and did like this, uh, kind of like aptitude tests for, you know, for students that were interested in studying music. And I scored really high. They, you know, they came to the classroom where I was. I guess it was like, you know, my English class or something like this, my reading or language arts class. And they said, man, you scored really high. Which instrument do you want to play? And I was like, ah, drums. I'm playing drums, you know. So he started giving me lessons in school. And then, uh, you know, we just gradually, I gradually got better. And uh, they started the jazz band there, and I started playing in the jazz band, and I was doing the concert band, and I was doing the orchestra and violin. So, uh, and it was such a great music program, and, um, you know, in Philly during that time, it was, you know, it was just amazing, you know, and I was surrounded by kids that were equally interested in, 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 in music. So. <laughs> Yes, I do. I think my first paid gig came with, uh, I was playing in a youth ensemble with, uh, uh, that was conducted by a great gentleman who's still, in, who's still involved in uh, bringing up some of the younger musicians in Philadelphia. His name was Lovett Hines. He was like my first music teacher outside of school. And um, I'm trying to remember where he played. We used to do like these private party events or weddings or play like some church functions and uh, I remember playing and um, after the gig he came with like you know I don't know if it was like twenty fifty dollars but I was just like man you get paid for this this is cool you know like I could I could really get into this you know like you know and so and he, he you know he had it in his mind like look if we're doing a service you guys need to be paid this is if this is what you want to do professionally you should you should get paid for your time so uh, you know, before, I mean, I just, I, I was just into the music because I just loved it, you know, I, you know, I just, you know, especially jazz because it was like freedom of expression, you know, you could play what you wanted to play and, and I really enjoyed that. So, uh, 
So, but to get paid on top of that was like the, the icing on the cake. I was like, wow, okay, that's killing. I'm, I'm going to stick with this. So, um, yeah, I remember that being like one of my first paid gigs. And then I would say like my first prof real professional gig was with um, a bassist from Philadelphia who we lost. Uh, his name was Charles Fambro, and he called me to play in his group. And, um, and that was like, you know, I remember my father driving me to the gig. I was maybe like 14 or 15. And uh, same thing, he, you know, we played the gig and he counted out the money and he was like, here you go, son. And I was like, oh, cool, you know, so, yeah. Uh, my name is Jonathan Blake.